Dustin, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hey, good afternoon, Ken. How are you doing today? I'm living the dream. What's going on with you? Uh, trying to live the dream as well, man. All right. Um, How can I help? I'm having I'm having a little problem, man. I'm I'm currently um, just got uh, terminated from my job. Mm. I'm um, sorry. This is after. I appreciate that. Um, this is after last year I had left a job I'd been for for five years because I was recruited by a plant manager for another from another plant. And it was nice being wanted. And I went in there, negotiated my deal, started. And before the first day, they had fired that plant manager. So you could imagine how that went. They didn't know what to do with me. And within three months after I was about to get a raise, they laid me off. So I went oh through all last summer mm. trying to figure out to get a job. And I had this one that I just got terminated for. And I'm just trying to figure out, like, what is... What's going on with me? What's up with the bad luck? Even though I'm working extremely hard, I just make small little mistakes. Mm. And I just feel like I just run to a string of bad luck. Okay. Well, let's let's um, let's walk through your current emotional reality uh, because yeah. the the psychology research shows that when someone is fired from their job, mm-hmm. it has the same emotional impact. In other words your brain cannot decipher between losing a loved one and losing a job as it relates to the impact it has on you. It's scary. So when I tell you right off the bat, man, I'm sorry. Um, you. You need to understand that you are, your soul is mourning, is in a state of shock, a state of trauma on the level of losing a loved one. So yes. we have to take this seriously is my point. I know you feel that you're like, yeah, Ken, tell me something I don't know, but it, <laughs> it's, but it, but it, I'm telling you that because you need to heal. You understand? Yes, sir. So, so let me just quickly tell you what I think you need to be doing if you're not doing it. And then we'll get to the practicality of what our next steps are, but you okay. need to be surrounded by people who, who you love and that love you. And you need to cry if you haven't cried or handle it however you handle it. You need to laugh. So you need to be around a caretaker. You need to be around uh, uh, a comedian right now, someone in your life that just makes you laugh uh, because it's going to be really good for you. And then I think, you know, on some level you've called me a coach, but is there someone in your life that just holds you accountable or will push you right now and not let you? Go ahead. I will say my girlfriend, uh, when I was the job I told you about where I was laid off because, you know, the, the new boss came in, yeah. uh, she came, she came to my house that day, uh, cheered me up. And when I was embarrassed to tell her what had happened, um, recently here, um, she, like I said, she told me I'm going to be by your side no matter what. And I can't Good. tell you how much. Good. That meant the world to me. That's a good I woman. I need to get that girl a ring. Brother, I was just getting ready to say, you better put a ring on it, man, because that's a good woman um, right there. Now, but I want to say this. I don't want to diminish that effect. In fact, that's amazing. But again, you need some other friends, and let's just keep you in a positive place right now, okay? That you're not right. a loser. You're not a loser. Yeah. And so what I want you to that's do right. is start to think about, what does it look like for me to fail forward? Yeah. Instead of, I failed. No, I fail yeah forward. Now, let's just talk about this last job because the one before that yeah. is to me an outlier and I don't think it yeah. it does us any good to analyze an outlying situation. That was what I would no. truly call bad timing or as you're saying bad luck. Sure, I'll give you that one. Yes. This last situation, mm-hmm. we got to figure out what we can learn from it. So you were terminated for what? Um I had gotten a third write up and it was uh we make I don't want to go into the details of what the company is. Yeah, no, 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 and it. you don't need to. I'm just saying what they write you up yeah. for doing wrong. Um, I had, when I was working on a part, um, I had made the piece backwards, even though the blueprints had lined up, everything had lined up correctly. I even had someone check it, check it, and he also seemed it was deemed it was correct, but we just missed a small little thing, and the the part was backwards, and it had been the Second time I had done this, and on the on the uh, the second time I'd done that, and during my first month on the new machine, I accidentally like dropped something, 
by total accident, but it was still considered a write-up. All right, so and, they have a policy. Uh, so they have a policy, yeah. three strikes, you're out? Yes, sir. Okay, so here's a couple of things. So one is an accident. Anybody can drop something and break it. That doesn't mean you're a loser or a failure. You drop something, yeah. all right? Um, mm -hmm. The other situation, you've done it one time before, and then this time you did it again and you had somebody else check it. Again, I don't see character flaws that I'm really concerned about. Um, I, I think there, yeah. there, there might be a slight character flaw, um, but I don't feel like that's it because I think you went and you said, hey, does this look good? And you at least got some feedback. You didn't go to your manager maybe who had the expertise. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. doesn't sound like you did. So here's what we're doing. Well, well, yeah, I, well the thing was I normally do get a check there, but they weren't around, so I just went to my next coworker who always checks my stuff. Because that's the rule. You have to check your stuff every time before. Great. So you here's the, the deal. Not a character flaw. No. I, I wonder if you were in the right role for your skill set. Do you think you were? Yes or no? Uh, I mean, it was a manufacturing job, but I did like what I was doing. Um, I mean, you could okay, say, then. yeah, because I liked what I was doing better than the other, other machines they had there. Yeah. And I liked what I was doing. It was just this really... It was just a small mistake on a really okay. Honestly, so here's the deal. Blueprint. So what do you take away from that? We got about a minute. I want you to give me in 20 seconds or less. What's the real lesson we take away from what you just shared? What's your lesson? What do you learn? Uh, my lesson is um, just just stay 100 percent focused on the job and uh, and give it everything you got. I mean, that was the what I got from that. Yeah. It, this is not something you should be beating yourself over over the head with this. Okay. Okay, be more careful. Okay. Slow down. Yes, sir. There's a reason yes, why sir. we all make mistakes. For me, I'm a disaster. Mm -hmm. I get going so fast. All my mistakes and clumsy things are generally because I'm trying to do too much too quickly. So here's the deal. Been there. My man, listen, there's nothing wrong with you. You get back up on the saddle. Learn from this. You're going to be okay. This isn't bad luck. This is just a great opportunity to learn and move forward.